In this video, I'll show you what is Anima, and by the end of it, you'll understand exactly why both designers and developers must check it out. In fact, Anima allows designers to create high fidelity prototypes right inside of Sketch, Adobe XD, and Figma, and export HTML and CSS in a single click. And Anima recently released a brand new version which has some major improvements over the previous one. So let's check it out. Now this is part of a series of videos in which we're going to explore Anima in depth. And in this video, we're going to focus specifically on how to get started with Anima and how to navigate through the dashboard. But in the following video, we're actually going to create a high fidelity prototype of this website responsive UI in Anima. So the very first thing that we'll do is to go on animaapp.com and I highly recommend you to check out the Anima 101 section, which gives you a brief overview both for designers and for developers as to what are the main features of the app and how you can easily integrate Anima within your workflow. So as you can see, you can create responsive and high fidelity prototypes directly within Anima and sync it with your favorite design software. Now on top of that, Anima has some amazing features for developers as well, since it allows you to export the React or HTML code in just one click. And we're going to explore this feature in one of the future videos. Now let's create a new free account. In order to do that, you simply have to click on the start free button. And as you can see, you have essentially two options. The first one is to sign up with Google. And the second one is to enter your email and the basic details manually. And then you can create a free account and be right inside the dashboard. So once you signed up to Anima, you're going to be redirected to this main dashboard, which allows you to add projects and manage all of the settings of your account. So as you can see over here on the top, you can add a new team. So if you want to do so, you can simply do this and follow the very quick flow. Now, if you want to add a team icon, you can do it directly from here. And as you can see at the moment, I only have one single member, which is myself. But if I want to invite a new member, so for example, a designer or a developer to collaborate within this project, I can easily do so from here. And I can simply enter their email address and select if I want them to have view only features or if I want them to be a contributor so they can upload also design files and the edits, or if I want to give them admin settings, which means that they have full control over everything. And I can also add a invite link, which can be extremely useful since I can select if anyone with the link will join as a contributor or only as a viewer, and I can simply copy this link, send it over via message, via email, whatever platform you prefer, and that they're going to have instant access to the Anima project directly with this link. Now, if we go on the bottom section, you can see that over here by default, all projects have been selected. Now, at the moment, I haven't created a project, so I have this call to action to create my first project, which I can simply click over here, I can select uh, and start typing website project, which is going to be the project which we're going to use uh, in this example. And as you can see, I can sync my design with uh, any of the top uh, free design software. So Figma, Sketch, Adobe XD, by simply downloading the plugin, which uh, is free for each and every one of these uh, softwares. On top of this, uh, you can uh, manually import or upload a sketch file directly for a quick start. And if you go one step back, you can see that now I have the project in place. Now, you also have this option here, which is the archive. So if you archived any project, you can see them right here. And you also have the settings panel, which enables you to have more granular settings over Anima. So let's go here and let's select, for example, the very first one, which allows you to change the team name, change the icon as we've seen previously, and also integrate directly with Slack so that you can notify all your team with uh, whenever there are updates. Now, on top of that, we also have the ability to add members and manage members directly from here, just like we did on the top section. You can change the plan and the billing and also add the invoice details, such as the address and the email address directly from here. 
So one last thing is uh, you can delete uh, the team uh, if you don't plan on using this account again, you can uh, easily delete it directly from here. Now, one more thing that I want to discuss is these three top options. So as you can see, we have uh, the very first icon, which is essentially the product updates. Uh, so whenever a product update uh, happens in Anima, you're going to be notified directly from here so that you can keep in the loop with that. We also have the notifications directly in this section here. So whenever, for example, a coworker comments on a project or tags you, you're going to receive the notification directly in this section. And the very last one is the account. So you're going to have all sorts of different options and to change about both your account, such as the email notifications, you can see the activity updates or the common notifications uh, frequency. So if you want it right away, simply leave it by default. If you don't want any comments notifications, simply click on never, or also the subscription upgrades. Now on top of all of this, uh, you can see also that you can uh, easily click on the plugin section in order to download the plugin for your favorite design software. And you can click on Anima 101 uh, in case you want to go back uh, to the page that we mentioned earlier, that's going to give you a brief overview and also a tutorial on how to leverage uh, Anima for both uh, designers and developers. Now this is it for this video. And in the next one, we're going to create uh, a prototype uh, of these uh, landing pages in Anima directly. So, so see you in the next one.